Here in this video, I'll explain the differences between the PSAT and the SAT. The critical reading section in the PSAT has only two sections, whereas the SAT has three. By the way, here MC represents multiple choice questions. In the writing section, PSAT does not have the essay portion, and it combines two multiple choice sections of SAT into just one section. Now in math, this SRQ represents uh, student response questions, which is also referred to as gradient problems. In the PSAT, there are only two sections. Let me elaborate a little bit on the topics covered by the PSAT math and the SAT math. Well, there is no clean-cut distinction between them. SAT math is supposed to cover a little more advanced materials from Algebra 2, but a majority of problems in the SAT math could be solved by students who finished Algebra 1 and Geometry. In the SAT, there is something called an equating section. It is sort of a pretesting section or an experimental section that the College Board places on the test. It could be in any of those three categories of critical reading, writing, or math, and it does not count towards the final score. Now you may ask, when you take the test, are you going to be able to tell which one is an equating section? Well, if you have four sections in math, you know that you do have an equating section in math, but you will not be able to tell exactly which of those four is the equating section. So in other words, you have to solve all the sections um, as if all of them count towards the final score. In the PSAT, you're not going to have that equating section. By the way, the section numbers you see here do not represent the actual section numbers on the real SAT or PSAT. They actually scramble them for each test. Now, as you can see in the total hours for the exams, the PSAT can be considered as a short version of the SAT. And the point scale for the PSAT is one-tenth of SAT. The combined score of three sections in the PSAT gives you something called a selection index, SI, and that is used for selecting high score students for the recognition. In the next lesson, I'll give you detailed information on the National Merit Scholarship associated with the PSAT.